Welcome to the Brunswick Group Therapy Podcast with Lucas and Kimberly. Episode number 69. Happy Friday the 13th. Ooh, Ooh spooky Friday the 13th. <laughs> Uh, speaking speaking of spooky, yeah, check out this uh, <laughs> zoning officer for the city of uh, or the township of Hinkley. It's okay, ma'am. Don't break the property. She's yanking it down. Well, that was an interesting piece. Yeah, yeah. So uh, they look through their laws, and I guess they have a couple days to correct the sign situation. So um, I'm not sure what's going to happen to her. I'm not sure what happened before that video started that uh, put her in such a mood. But very we'll true. See. We only saw part of it. So, mm. oh boy. All right. Well, speaking of zoning, moving right along. Right? Huh? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I've had my share of zoning stuff for lately. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, but Sam, uh, the man, has put up a self-serve fire thing over at his new piece of property over by Pearl and Grafton and back of the Red Onion. If you're in need of that, it's like five bucks a bundle. I think that's what it says here. Yeah. Um, and then they'll have a bigger bundle. It's for seven. So Even that $5 and... bundle looks like a good size. So what else we got? Uh, we got Mars cards. They moved from their little location next to the middle school over to next to Kelly's Crepes with uh, Old World Deli and the Empanada Place, which also opened yesterday. Goodness gracious, there's a lot going on in that plaza yeah, right now, huh? It's time to get into that plaza. But we stopped by and interviewed them. We got uh, we let you work the camera. How'd I, I do? I worked the mic. It wasn't terrible. It wasn't terrible for a first timer, you know? <laughs> uh, let's take yeah, a... you did okay, too, in front of the camera, so, right, you know. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look at that video. All right. All right, everybody, we are over here at Mars Card, new location over in the Drug Mart Plaza, Pearl Road, uh, just south of the old location, right by the Brunswick Middle School, uh, going from a uh, very small starter shop in a short amount of time, uh, expanding to uh, quite a large space, probably one of the largest card shops I've been in. Um, just wanted to introduce uh, you to the location and the owner and show you what's going on over here. They're still constructing, obviously. Um, but we're recording on Monday, and uh, by the time you see this, uh, they'll be open. Uh, let's uh, get to know the owner a little bit. Lucas, what's going on? Hey, how you doing? I'm going to let you hold it. Hey, why not? Yeah, hey, I'll take it. Let's move this out the way. What's going on, everybody? Hey, so uh, tell us a little about the shop. You moved here so quickly from such a small location. Um, it's very exciting. Yeah. What's going on? Yeah, it's really exciting. A um, year ago... Last, uh, about two weeks ago, was our first year anniversary at Mars Card Shop right across from the middle school. Um, the growth was just incredible. We knew that we had something really special, you know, early on, but, you know, the rapid growth that we'd gone through, um, not only Brunswick, but the surrounding communities has been incredible. Um, and now it's time for us to kind of take it to the next level. We always said we can grow, right? We always said we, we can grow something big. So we didn't want to go into something crazy right off the bat. And, um, but now we're into something crazy. So yeah. we're excited about it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I love the colors. Why don't you show us a little bit around? Looks like there's some different areas. And, yeah, uh, for what sure. You offer and what you got planned. Yeah, so we took a little bit of uh, the old shop with us all the way around. So we've had, um, this is our license wall. Back at the old uh, shop, we had a big license wall, and we actually just went ahead and bordered it all the way around, bring a little nostalgia with us. This was our outside sign uh -huh. um, at the old shop um, that you guys are looking at right now. And also a piece of it, if you turn around there at our main wall, um, is also that card shop part was outside um, as well. So brown and orange, you know, we're huge Cleveland Browns fans. Big uh, uh, Cleveland fans, period. So the color orange really stands out here at the shop. Um, it's something we've had in our logo for the last eight years, and now we're making it a prominent part of our new shop. Very cool. And uh, 
I used to rip open packs as a kid. We didn't have a card shop close enough that I could ride my bicycle to, sure. but we would uh, go up to, I think it was Drug Mart at the time, not this one, the uh, one on uh, Boston and Boston and 130th. Then we'd go over to my buddy's Charlie house and we'd sit on the front porch and we'd rip open the cards and then we'd get our cards yeah. out and we'd trade them. Um, tell us a little bit about, it's not just a shop, you come in and you buy cards and you go home. Uh, I see it on the internet all the time of what you're doing and how excited these kids are. Tell yeah. us a little bit about um, what kind of space you have for that. I see some really great seating over here and yeah. uh, some other stuff. Yeah, so our, our main objective always has been we don't want to just be like a POS stop where you just, you know, point of sale, you just come in, you buy and leave. You know, we're creating an environment where the memories are made, not just in our shop for us, but the fathers and the sons, the moms and the sons, the moms and the daughters who come in, they open packs at our, at our huge table and you know we try to make sure we record it and have memories for them and we post it all over our social media and it's something that you know on our last day on sunday we had multiple people coming in and just wanted to take a picture at the shop of mm. all the memories they had at the first shop with their kids and what we're going to bring here we have a really cool lounge area in the new shop where you know mom or dad that is uh bringing them to the shop can hang out there over there we'll have some magazines tv on the kids can go throughout the shop we'll have tables um throughout the shop, three to, two to three, maybe four tables inside the shop at all times. we got a large single selection. Everybody likes coming in and uh, going through and looking for their favorite player, favorite team, so we have that. We also have fun boxes that they can open. We'll have big packs on the wall um, where they can just sit down and enjoy you know, a few, uh, a few minutes in the shop or however long they want. Very cool. And it looks like you uh, buy singles and uh, offer those, so you have those, uh, have those in these display cases. Correct. and. Yeah, so throughout the shop. Our showcases you'll see. Showcases are mainly like your larger dollar amount um, cards. These wall cases, really fun stuff, anywhere from 10 to 20, 30 bucks in there. Um, and then dollar boxes over here, dollar, three, four dollar cards where they can go through. So we have a price point for everybody. It's not, you know, a crazy expensive, uh, you know, venture into the shop. You can come in one, two, three dollars and leave with a great, you know, a great card. Yeah, I still have a pretty good size. Uh, Length of collection, yeah. Up. I should yeah, bring them up and check it up. How much for my Alonzo morning? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I get Alonzo's calls. I get Alonzo's calls. Um, you know, they, they kind of see what we're doing. We have a lot of fun on our social media. We want to make it exciting for people to come in. We want to make it memorable for when they come in. Um, so we've got some cool things, that, uh, you know, in, in store for the new shop. Um, Saturday's going to be our big grand opening. We're going to have a hobby rip night, Tops, sponsored by Tops. Uh, come to the shop from 1 to 4. We're going to have discounted prices, giveaways, free packs, pizza, drinks. And then um, kind of back by popular demand, we'll have a trade night from 4 to 8 where collectors can come in, uh, meet other correct collectors, trade with them, buy from them, trade with us, buy with us, and just have a good time. We've, uh, we did one uh, right before the National Card Convention came. Huge success, so we're going to do the next one this Saturday. Well, once again, congratulations on your expansion. I Thank hope uh, Brunswick and the sur surrounding communities come check you out. Uh, this Saturday and yeah. uh, for years to come. Yeah, we, we just want to thank the community. They've been awesome. Um, they've really come out and showed a lot of support for us. And, uh, you know, we just want to keep make, make sure we give back all the time. And it's not just us in here. It's Kelly's Cafe, New Empanadas is about to open up, Old World Deli, obviously, Drug Mart, and then we've got some sweet neighbors next door with the chiropractors. They're really nice over there. So they welcomed us with open arms. They peek their head in there all the time. They can't wait for us to come. So. You know, be Being great. so close, you might have to start a workout regimen. I, I got to get the step count up because an easy 20 is coming. Like an easy 20 pounds is coming with all the good stuff around here. So yeah. step counts are going to have to go up, and you know we'll uh, we'll make sure we support them just like everyone supports yeah. us. Best wishes. Take awesome. care. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. you. Mm That is some stellar camera work right there. <laughs> Congratulations to Mario and the uh, Mars Cards team <laughs> for their expansion. And uh, hope all those kids and adults alike check it out. I can't believe how much bigger it is than the other place. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, congratulations and many more successful years here in Brunswick. So um, there was some talk about a hidden gem that's right over the border. I think the official address is Hinkley. It's called Hillside Orchard. It's Hillside on 303. Orchard, that's it. Technically yeah. in Hinkley, but uh, my goodness, this post got almost 40,000 views and 76 shares. And over 1,000 yeah. likes and loves. Yeah, I don't so, know. The Facebook algorithm on that like, must have broke it, but 
I'm glad they're supporting local. I'm sure that business saw some huge increase just from eating those, uh, quote, damn grapes. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> they do look up. They do look delish, so might have to swing by there. Um, let's see what else we got. Well, we uh, we got Bloom Bakery. Speaking of eating. Yeah. <laughs> right? Right. You and I were guests of uh, Greg Clement invited us to Friends and Family Night over for the grand um, opening that happened this week. So we were over there, you know, earlier. Bloom Bakery and Cafe and has just an amazing... Uh, display of breads and desserts and uh, they're going to have coffee and there'll be a little cafe area and you'll be able to pass through and go into the apple farm area you know like the apple you know where they sell all the different kinds of apples and stuff and then we also asked him about the wishing well in the corner it is still there and greg his dad actually before they even bought mapleside replaced the wheel mechanism on that so that was kind of fun Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and to know that it's still going to be there probably over 50 years i'm going to have to guess it's been there yeah yeah but back to that bread man i got to try the um (laughs) back to the bread (laughs) back to the bread i love bread bread. (laughs) Uh, i got to try the uh bread and beer (laughs) the uh sun-dried tomato bread and then uh, i took home a loaf of sourdough my wife made bruschetta with it and uh man it was awesome it was awesome, Brad. I ate uh, I ate two pieces of it just plain. <laughs> I love bread. Yeah, it was it was really good. I put some. Um, Meyer has uh, a garlic spread, and so I put garlic spread and put it in the air fryer. Oh, mm-hmm. it was so good. Yeah, so so good. But they're also going to have breakfast um, sandwiches and uh, um, cupcakes and other desserts. And uh, I think I read that they're open seven to six weekdays, Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, seven and nine weekends and then close Monday. Yeah. That's some great hours too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, really like, really like that, that they're open so early and a little bit later too. So, um, speaking of brews, go ahead. Talk right. about it. Here we go. Uh, getting in on the action. I know we mentioned a few Browns day specials. Ignite how now has a game day special as well. $4 for all 12 ounce pours. Uh, twenty four ninety nine for three shareables for the table, and fourteen ninety nine for any flatbed hot dog and chips, or chicken tender basket and a twelve ounce beer uh, on football Sundays. Our um, second blessing box is opening. This one will be at Brunswick United Methodist Church at the corner of three o three and Pearl, and they have decided to do things a little bit differently, which I think is I like very it. very smart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like it too. Um, so they are going to be stocking only toiletry items because there's so many, there are quite a few food pantries in the area and then we're going to have other blessing boxes. And so they'll have food in them too, but they at Brunswick United Methodist Church again, um, are only going to have the toiletry items. So household products, diapers, toilet paper, et cetera, shampoo, soaps, all that kind of stuff. Um, and so these items, um, will be available to residents that can't get to the food pantry, and they found they have a food pantry there, so they found that there's a need for their food pantry clients to for this kind of stuff. So, items can be dropped off during office hours, Monday through Thursday from nine to four, Fridays nine to twelve. Please don't leave them outside. And they're also looking for donations uh, as they finish up getting the supplies and stuff to build that box. So uh, please drop off or mail to the church office. Very nice, very nice. And uh, Yeah, we got a couple more coming, but that's number two. Yep. Uh, that's the post we have for this week. Let's head over to Roger at Houndstown. Check out the Pooch of the Week. Sounds good. Hey, guys, it's Roger here at Houndstown. Um, hope you guys had a good week. Uh, checking in with my weekly update. This week we have Brooks with us. He's a two-year-old male black lab mix. He's a bigger boy, um, but great personality. He did just recently go through the Grafton uh, dog training program. So he's certified from there for all of his basic commands. Um, it is up for adoption. So if you'd like to learn more about Brooks, uh, you can reach out to us here at Houndstown, 330-460-3052. Um, go to our 
public Facebook page, Houndstown Brunswick. Um, you'll see pictures of him. And again, as a reminder, um, you can always go to the Berea Animal Rescue site. Uh, they have pictures of all of the dogs and cats that are up for adoption. So hope to uh, get Brooks adopted out. If you're interested in arranging a meet and greet, please give us a call. And do remember, we're here at Houndstown uh, 365 days a year for your uh, boarding needs. And we also do doggy daycare Monday through Saturday. Um, have a great weekend, and we'll be back at you next week. Take care. All right. So if you're interested, give Roger a call over at Houndstown or Berea Animal Rescue. And... So adorbs. I can just say that every week because they're so cute. Right. Um Let's get into things to do in the 212. So starting right off the bat, today is the day. Um, Empanada's Latin Street Food is opening their Brunswick location. They opened um, at 11 o'clock, and I'm not sure what time they're open till in the evenings, but go check them out. They can't wait. They're over in the Drug Mart Plaza on Pearl Road, right next to Kelly's and the new Mars Cars, you know, where everything's happening right now. Old World Deli. Go and check them out. Again, Empanada's Latin Street Food, Brunswick. Welcome. And what I like most mm -hmm. about them is each empanada is uh, sold individually. So for three, four, or I think $5, it's been a while since I've been there. You can just try all kinds of different ones, you know, including, oh, including some dessert idea. ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Very nice. Let's see. We got this uh, Small Hands Big Dreams Learning Center wants to invite people back today, Friday, September 13th, from 5.30 to 7.30 for their back-to-school carnival. It's open to all of the public and is absolutely free. They have Gaga for goats. I don't know what that means. Cotton candy, <laughs> face painting, and a surprise character visit. So, uh, you know, if it's free, it's for me. Yeah, that sounds like a good time. And remember, they, that's uh, Small Hands Big Dreams Learning Center, and they are over at 4898 Center Road. They are just uh, west. Let me get my of the water breaks. straight here. Of, just They're west what? of the water main breaks. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Now everyone knows where yeah, they are. Perfect. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Oh, my goodness. Uh, coming up tomorrow is Fall Halloween Mini Fest, and, and that is from 10 to 3 over. There's going to have everything from pumpkins to um, mums and everything. That's over at um, Fair Trade on Pearl Road over by Spring Mist, right across the street from Spring Mist Farms. If you haven't been there, you want to go check them out. So pumpkins and hay bales and mums and vendors and face painting and temporary tattoos and all sorts of stuff. You, so, didn't, you didn't say food truck. It says food truck. I That's what I started with. didn't say food truck. Yeah, start what? with that. Start with that. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. We, we uh, should start with food truck, yeah, shouldn't we? Yeah. People love a good um, food truck. Again, that's tomorrow from 10 to 3 at Fairtrade on Pearl. Yep. And then uh, we, Your turn. we got uh, Saturday is uh, kicking off Princess and Pirates over at Mapleside Farm. That is uh, Saturday, 11 a.m. till 9 p.m. and Sunday, 11 a.m. till 6 p.m. That's the themed days, but they also have a fun Friday from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Fun Friday is only 13 days for an all-day unlimited super pass. Saturday and Sunday is $17. Um, tickets can be purchased online. They have live goats as well and pig races and uh, the themed corn maze and a bunch of other things going on. So. Fun, fun. All these activities. Then when you're done with the kids, going to those different events, you can drop them off at home and leave them with a the sitter and head over to see live music with the Alley Cats over at the Tangled Vine from 6 to 9 tomorrow night, Saturday. Also at Manzo Sports and Spirits, we have Ronnie Zucks. He is there for some live acoustic fun at 8.30 p.m. Saturday the 14th. Oh, look, look who it is. Look who it is. Also on Saturday the 14th, two of Lucas's favorites. So Sweet Chin and Ignite Brewing. <laughs> so <laughs> if you're looking uh, for Lucas on Saturday, that's probably where he'll be. And that starts at 7 o'clock. So stop by and see um, Sweet Chin. If you've never heard them, they do uh, rock renditions of pop songs from the 80s to today. And uh, they're coming back to Ignite Brewing. So go check them out. Yeah, they're a good time. Good cover band. Uh, Psychic Fair happening on Sunday. That's from noon to 5 at the VFW. 
They'll have seven readers. I knew readers. that already. <laughs> Sorry. They'll have seven readers <laughs> and seven vendors giving tarot, astrology, palm, oracle card, medium, ships, uh, da, 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 other stuff. Crystals, jewelry, candles, herbs, and CBDs will be for sale. And uh, it is free admissions. Readings are only $25. Again, that is uh, Sunday from noon to five at the VFW. Very nice. Wine tasting event. Who doesn't like wine? Buckeye Missions and Sanctuary looks like a fundraiser. Woof, Wag, and Wine is the name of it. They are partnering with the Tangled Vine for this event, and that is going to be on Saturday, September 28th from 3 to 6. Tickets are only $30 per person and include hors d'oeuvres and a flight of four or two drink tickets. So you can pay at the event or pay ahead of time, either or. Go check out facebook page for buckeye missions and um, help support them yeah here's another coming up down the road this is wednesday september 18th the real housewives of beverly hills trivia i would not do well at that but that is also at the tangled vine (laughs) Um, it should be about two hours long and you would want to call ahead to reserve a table or comment on the event post but that is wednesday september 18th from 6 to 8 p.m have you watch? Uh, I wouldn't even pretend to know the no, first thing about that one. No. So, but there's people out there that do. Something I do know about is being a Medina County older adult, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they are having a Senior Connections Day, and that's Friday, September 20th, from one to four. Hey, wait a minute. What about us working seniors? What the heck? Anyway, it's a free event for um, a free event at the office for older adults, and that's on Northland Drive um, in Medina, so 246 Northland Drive. So there'll be workshops about technology, scams, end of life planning, food and grocery assistance, um, transportation. They're going to cover everything: Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, and then home repair, maintenance, and stuff like that. So. Um, just uh, stop by there or call 330-483-3873 for more information if you're interested in that. And that's Senior Connections Day on Friday, September 20th. Very cool. And uh, Valley City Chill and Grill is doing a dine to donate on Wednesday, September 18th from 11.30 a.m. till 8.30 p.m. So all opening hours of those days. This is going to sponsor Hickory Ridge Parent Teacher Group. And that is at Valley City Chill and Grill. Just mention the fundraiser and a percentage of your sale will be donated back to Hickory Ridge Parent Teacher Group. And make sure you stop by there at some point and get the exhausted parent. What's that? Ice cream. Mm. Ice cream. It is bourbon infused coffee ice cream with chocolate chunks in it. Oh, get that's out of here! It. That's I'm all. There. That's all you need. Yeah. Google add that to it's, my calendar. Yes, definitely. <laughs> uh, Saturday, September twenty first, Brunswick VFW coming up, coming at us with all the events, aren't they? Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, this is awesome! So they're having a clam bake again Saturday, September twenty first at five o'clock. Uh, the chicken bake is thirty eight dollars. Steak bake is forty five. Um, so if you're interested in that, tickets are available in the canteen, so stop by there. Um, it's a yearly event that they put on to raise funds to support their veterans. So Saturday, September 21st, Clam Bake. That's awesome. Also going on Saturday, September 21st, this is in the morning from 9.30 a.m. till noon. This is over at uh, the Medina County Career Center on Liberty Street. They're having a third annual auto show. It's free admission. However, if you'd like to enter a car, it's a $10 donation per vehicle. There'll be commemorative keychains for all participants and awards for the best vehicles in show. And then all proceeds benefit the seniors in engineering, tech, and design. There'll be uh, coffee and donuts available as well. Very nice. Looks like some great cars are going to be in there too. Live Restaurant is going to have a customer appreciation uh, day on September 26th. A free beer, one per person. Sorry, Lucas. That's it. We're done. We're done? We're done. That's it. That's all we got. Well, I think that's going to do it for us this week. If you can't find anything to do in the 212, you weren't listening. So uh, just hit that rewind button and listen again. Thank you for joining us. You got anything else? I don't. I don't. Enjoy your week, Brunswick. Take care. All right. We'll see you guys. Bye. No.
As always, I want to thank you for checking out the Brunswick Group Therapy Podcast and for supporting local Brunswick area businesses. If you enjoyed your time, please check us out online at brunswickgrouptherapy.com where you can continue the conversation with a voice message that may be featured on future podcast episodes or posts. You can also follow us on our Brunswick Group Therapy social media pages on both YouTube and Facebook. If you own or manage an area business and would like to be featured in an upcoming Brunswick Group Therapy podcast, please reach out to Kimberly or I through any of our social media pages. We are passionate about supporting local, and it's the reason for this podcast. Thank you for joining us for another therapy session. A reminder that the views, thoughts, and opinions expressed on this program are solely those of the participants and do not represent any business, group, employer, or organization. The material and information presented here is for general information and entertainment purposes only.